ladies and gentlemen good morning good afternoon good evening i am your host data t and this is my channel the good guys guys today's story comes out of raleigh north carolina and the title reads self-defense cited as reason woman will not be charged in deadly food line parking lot shooting thank goodness now guys before we get into today's story if you wouldn't mind leaving a like leaving a comment subscribe remember we're still on that road to a thousand subscribers and we can only get there with your help uh, we'll soon be hitting 200 and i'm and it's great it's fantastic to see okay guys you can also hit me on twitter whether maybe it's x now and then uh you can hit me on Minds and even on Truth Social, and even I have some things on TikTok now and uh, Instagram. So, guys, let us dive in to today's story. I also spoke with a few people who work in this shopping center. Some still shaken up after authorities say that woman was followed into this parking lot on Tuesday night and then threatened. Mr. McLam. Uh, was the aggressor. Way County District Attorney Lauren Freeman says the incident started with a road rage situation. Then Stephen McLam followed a woman into the Greystone Village Shopping Center in North Raleigh, got out of his car and tried to get inside her vehicle. The woman was carrying a handgun and Freeman says fired it at McLam in self-defense. So let's stop there. OK, um, this is fantastic to hear. OK, that this woman was carrying was making sure that she had her firearm on her um that firearm it could have been anywhere it could have been in her purse it could have been her center console it could have been in a glove compartment doesn't matter she had it and she was able to use that gun get it in the fight this is fantastic to hear okay um this sheds some light on some people where where you depending on where you keep your firearm right all right so that's that now the other part of this is she drove into somewhere where there would be witnesses, where there would be, um, uh, let's say, uh, a crowded area. Now, she may not have known that it was going to get to the point where she would have to use her firearm because then you'd have to be worried about your surroundings, right? One of the firearm rules of safety is making sure that you shoot your target but also know what's beyond it right so obviously she didn't want to shoot into a crowd all right of people heavens uh we don't want to shoot somebody else's babies right anyway i find it fantastic that she was able to do that that this was a tactic the other tactic would have been to drive to a police station but who knows um if she felt really threatened and she's like, look, if I don't pull over, uh, there might be an issue. And who knows if she has other people with her. They didn't say that in this um, uh, story, but let's hear the rest of what's going on. A few businesses have surveillance video of the frightening exchange. They didn't want to share it with us after handing over clips to police. We were fortunate to have access to various video. Uh, also, there were witnesses in the area that were interviewed and able to give a pretty clear picture of what happened here. McLam was 49 years old and died of his injuries at the hospital. The woman, whose life was determined to be in danger, is not being identified. I think what's really important here is for people to understand, you know, that provision in our law is not, you know, an invitation to vigilante justice, but it does very clearly allow when someone has a reasonable fear of, you know, imminent um, death or serious bodily injury that you are allowed to protect yourself under the facts of this case as we know them at this time, uh, that did prevent us from bringing charges. Guys, I'm going to say something here. I have a problem with this district attorney's uh, opinion. I, I, you know, what was the point of saying or even saying anything about vigilante justice? The woman was in danger. This woman defended herself. You have stated that, yes, this woman 
felt or felt uh, fell in fear of her life and she defended herself case closed it's done w what is the point you know you know what this is in my opinion i think we have so many people who are so uneducated on firearms who are so uneducated on guns that they are just fearful any time anybody uses one the only excuse it seems that people do not get over whelmed or or don't even highlight as much it's when criminals have these guns criminals are allowed to do all speakable things but as soon as somebody is takes a firearm who trains who makes sure who says to themselves this is not going to happen to me i am not going to be a victim she has to bring in the vigilante part I have a problem with this mindset, ma'am. And, you know, district attorneys, I think they they get, uh, it's either they get appointed or they get voted in, okay? Um, with this type of mindset, I may, you know, say, you know what, ma'am, I'm going to vote for somebody else. I don't like what you said. It's not about vigilante. It's not about that. It's about, hey, I have the Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms, and I have the ability to protect myself if I feel myself and I are in danger. You know, the other part of this is, it's like she's trying to tell the rest of the public, hey, I don't need you going out there shooting people. We don't need, we don't need that. Where is the, where is the public announcement to the criminals? Hey, if you do this, this is what's going to happen to you. What about that? I have an issue with what this woman has said. I really do. I don't like the way she said it. I understand this is good. This is a good shoot. It's ruled in self-defense. But she had to put her preference or her preface on vigilantes. Why? It's in my opinion, these people, they just don't like, they don't like that the general public has guns. They don't like it. It's, 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 it's frustrating. Let me move on. Let's hear the rest of the story, guys. So we're being told that woman has no prior criminal history, which did play a factor in the decision not to file charges. We're live in North Raleigh, Elaine Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah, we covered it as breaking news as it was happening on Tuesday, and it's all coming into focus now. Elena, thank you. It played a factor? It played a factor? What if this woman had misdemeanors up the wazoo? What if she had a criminal record? So what? And she was carrying the firearm legally? Let's say she had it in her vehicle. And guess what? Because she had... It, it does it matter if she had... If she... I cannot believe that this was said. That this played a factor in not charging her. That she didn't have a criminal record. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. How can this be said? People do clean up their lives, okay? I will tell you, they do, okay? They clean up their lives and they try to do right by their uh, past mistakes. And there are, and believe it or not, guys, there have been felons who have gone to jail, prison, and come out, and they have had their rights restored, and now they carry a firearm. And guess what? They what ha what hap what happens to the person who rehabilitates himself, and he's got a past record, and this happens to him. Are you telling me because he had a pa he has a past record, you may not have exonerated him? It should be the facts. And the situation at hand, you have a video, you have people, witnesses, that should be the only determining factors of whether you are guilty or innocent. Fucked.
this district attorney. I don't like what she said. I don't like what this uh, news uh, uh, person has, has highlighted that because she has no criminal record is it one of the determining factors. Fuck. Fuck me, man. What the fuck? <sighs> Guys, imagine if she didn't have a gun. That's all I have to say. I mean, every video I say, imagine, imagine you were in this situation and you didn't have it. The lady is a good guy. The lady is a good guy. She's a good guy for defending herself. Okay. Uh, she didn't leave that up to anybody else. She did that all on her own. Kudos to her. And this is the result of a society of when you're able to protect yourself. You don't have to worry about the police. You don't. What would have happened if she had to wait for them? That man put, put him. He would have been in the vehicle. In the vehicle, took the car from her because guess what? We know men are stronger than women. And the gun is the equalizer. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Guys, you know what I say at the end of these videos? And I mean it. Good people have guns. Okay? Good men and women have guns. Because if good men do nothing, if good women do nothing, we'd have a whole lot more victims. We'd have a whole lot more crime. And if they did nothing, we would have no good guys. Uh -huh.